Scroll down, step out. Let's get our three pillars in. Feel the ball of your feet, of your weight, uh, centered over the balls of the feet. Spread throughout the foot, but that's your bullseye. These are soft. You allow yourself to sink into the earth. Reach for the crown of the head. Lengthen the spine. Open the jade pillow gate, tuck in the chin. So are you feeling the spine being pulled in two different directions, reaching up and sinking down. Your lower body is sinking down. Your crown is reaching up. Feel the toxic, your tailbone, the way loo, you point there. Feel that reaching down while you reach up with the crown. So we're creating tensegrity between the feet and the head, between the head and the tailbone. Spiral down to the left. We're releasing down, spiral down to the right. So we're releasing the quad. Oh, lay the hips. Nice and soft. Soon. We check your feet. Make sure you're making contact with the balls of your feet. Feel your toes. Getting contact with the with the floor. With your index fingers, feel energetic coherence. Yeah. Creating a state of wholeness. Morning and reaching with those index fingers. Reach with the elbows and open the shoulder joints. Relaxing your shoulders, reaching with the elbows, reaching with the fingers. There's a quality of reaching throughout the whole posture. Our three pillars, central equilibrium, energetic coherence, and unkinking the hose, particularly in the quad, the shoulders, and the gate pillow gate. Allows the energy to move freely throughout the whole body mind. Feel in your hands and notice the chi as well as the blood flow. Feel your fingernails, like they're tiger's claws. Feel them. They're, they're being activated. Feel the energy and how that changes your internal state just by activating your claws. You can also feel the claws on your toes, on your toenails. And, um, making contact with the earth, with the, with the floor. We're activating the wood chi now. Activating the Integrity of the connective tissue system. Bow forward slightly. Move your 
elbows, reach with the elbows, reach with the wrist. Feel those fingernails, quads. Reach with those elbows. You want to feel the space between the, the, the um, shoulder blades. That, yeah. Opening that up, extending, expanding. Yeah. Reach with your elbows and pull in. Feel the claws dragging space, even you know, digging in and pulling back as you reach back with your elbows. You feel the balls of your feet, you're, you're in that ready position. And reaching out. The elbows pull with those claws. Yeah. Ah, I reach out. Open, reach for the elbows, feel the feel the, the space between your your shoulder blades. Now you're going to feel the ball of your right foot set the right knee and you're going to spiral to the left, reaching out with your hands as your hands go to the left. And come up on the toe of your left foot, so all the weights in your right foot. Reach to the elbows, pull back with the claws, feel that. Feel the connection down through your feet and into the earth. Feel it up through the crown of your head and up into the sky. And then reach out. Go back. We're going to turn, reach, we're going to turn to the right, reaching the hands and step out nice and wide with the left foot. Your weight's going to be, you're going to feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and you're going to turn, reach with the, reach with the elbows as you turn and come around into a boat, a um, uh, horse stance, my bow. Do the feeling those fingernails, toenails, reaching with the crown, so we're pull in, elbows reach on that back. Ah, good job. Those elbows, wrists. Pull in. Down. Going to pull back abruptly, like you're like a tiger ripping something apart with your with your claws. So there's a a very abrupt kind of motion, so you're feeling that integrity there, and then you're reaching back with the elbows, and it's a, <clears throat> there's a kind of a, a pull like that, and ah, you're reaching out. Good. 
ankle. Turn to the left, reach the hands, step in with your left foot. Feel that, all that motion, all that <coughs> expansion, but in a posture of stillness. Feel the energy moving throughout the whole body mind. And reach the elbows and the wrists down. Back to your, your hands and just allow everything to go into that neutral state, neutral posture, but allow the energy to do its thing. Feeling really circulate. Feel your your shoulders, your elbows, your arms, your back, everything, feel the effect that that has had on, uh, on, on the whole system. Not much in the way of physical exercise, but a whole lot of energy exercise. Wow. Well, the elbows, reach the wrists, those claws. Go back, the elbows, those fingernails. Good job. Right. The ball of the left foot at the left knee, spiral down to the right, turning on the toe of your right foot. Feel those claws. Reach with your elbows. Open up the shoulders. Open up the back between the shoulder blades. Reach with the crown. Feel all those things pulling, but very softly. Nothing's tense. And reach out. Go back. Down. All of the right foot at the right knee and spiral to the left. Up the left foot. Yeah. And pull back. All the right foot at the right knee. To the right, step out of the left foot and
Yeah. Weights 50 50. Open. See that connection. Pull in. Lean into it as you're pulling in. Reaching out. And And we're going to pull back now. Feel those claws and reach with the elbows. It's just not a lot of, of physical action having here. Muscular tension, just you're going to feel that just reaching with the elbows and. <clears throat> and Left and the right, and step in. Feel into the stillness. Feel all the action that's happening. There's a whole lot of Jing Shen going on there. That's that spirit of vitality. You want to fill up with that. Allow that to circulate. Make it your friend. Come down. Feel into the stillness. To the ball of the right foot. Let the right knee spiral down to the left. Step into the left foot. Take a deep breath. And to press down, disappear the chi. We're throwing it away, throwing the chi away because we're moving. Now, from a state of uh, insubstantiality, where we're moving from Shen, from spirit. So the energy is very substantial. We can throw that away and allow an even more insubstantial quality to fill your body mind. 